What's up fam and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Game Room Solutions X Arcade Tank Stick Arcade Tank Stick Mother What was that? Now the awesome thing about this kit is that it's a full size kit which means that there's no riser and it stands about 70 inches tall. So I'm gonna go over the specs in a little bit more detail and kind of show you guys where it stands in comparison to my other full-size arcade cabinets and where it stands in comparison to my one-ups. What was I doing? The kit came in two boxes and build time was about an hour and a half. Now I did not opt for the speakers, which is something that you can do, but I already had my own. So I did have to come up with a solution for the light bleed here. Another thing that I wanna point out is that there's no fastener to hold the bezel in aside from the slots that are cut into the wood, which works fine, but there needs to be support so that it doesn't flex inward. The solution per the instructions was to tape it. The bezel part wasn't a big deal, but actually controlling the light bleed that goes into the back of the cabinet was kind of a pain in the butt. What I basically did was taped a bunch of USPS boxes together and then covered the remainder of the marquee lighting. Now, I know what you're gonna say. And you're right. <laughs> you're right. Eventually, I'll come up with a better, cleaner solution, but that's what worked for me at the moment. As far as the guts go, we have PC speakers with a sub, an Optiplex 3050 Micro running an i5, which is utilizing the chipset's native graphics. Well, the coin door arrives ready to go and is very easy to hook up as a functional coin door. I personally haven't done it yet. I probably will eventually, but it's not a big deal to me. I was really happy with the print quality on the side panels of the arcade cabinet. The colors pop, the image is beautiful, and it's smooth to the touch. I actually took my X-Arcade apart and painted it a flaky black and changed the buttons out as well. I really like how the overall color scheme of the cabinet matches the tank stick as well. Now, if I didn't mention it before, I gave them a picture of another arcade cabinet so that they had a template for the artwork that I could not provide. And I have to say, Tyler did an amazing job replicating the artwork and making everything exactly how I wanted it. Another great thing here is how much control panel real estate you have. It really feels nice and open, and even if you wanted to go to a four-player configuration, you'd have plenty of room. The control panel height is exactly where a standard arcade control panel would be. So just for an example of comparison, it's at about exactly the same height as my Neo Geo Big Red control panel. The X-Arcade kit was a fantastic option for me because I already had a tank stick. The control quality is top notch and it is a high quality piece of arcade hardware. Here's a little bit of gameplay and some of the games that I have running on my setup. Obviously, there's plenty more options when it comes to games on here. As far as the height of the cabinet goes and the size, you can kind of see it in comparison to the other cabinets in my collection. But overall, it is the tallest cabinet in my collection at a 68.5 inch measurement. 
so it's slightly taller than Donkey Kong. As far as bang for your buck goes, I think that this is one of the best kits that you can get, along with all of their other home arcade kits that are full size. So for just the shell, you're looking at $650. For a full bundle, around $1450. With my options, I paid around $1250. The Fatality, which was on the left, is basically the same thing as the X Arcade model. The only difference is that it includes its own control panel. And this is high quality material that comes with T-molding. There is also a Fatality kit and a Vulix style kit. They have a ton of options to choose from. Even when you look at it and say, hey, I'm paying $1,400 for this, you have to ask yourself, what would I have got for $1,400 elsewhere? And how comparable is it to this in quality and replay value? That's one of the things about this that I absolutely love. The replay value is huge. So for me, this was a no-brainer. I'm glad I took the risk and tried something new. I'm very happy with it. And it has definitely helped me consolidate my home arcade collection. And given me a little bit of peace of mind. This is a pretty good option in my opinion. Am I saying that it's the best thing ever? I'm saying it was the best decision for me. There are other companies out there like Paradox Arcade Systems and the Home Arcade Guys and a ton of other ones, but this was the one that I found to be the most user-friendly and straightforward process. So one of the things that I've been kind of wanting to get as well is a Vulix or a Candy Cab. And I feel like this kind of does what I wanted from a Vulix. Now, I still want a Candy Cab, don't get me wrong, but the chances of me being able to get a Candy Cab or find one in the condition that I want and the model that I want, it might be a while. I'm sorry, Wilson. Anyways, this is a great alternative to that. Like you're playing on something that is high quality. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If you did and you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a like. And if you're not subbed, click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. I appreciate your guys' support and watching the channel. And until next time, I'll see you then. What was that?